What's going on, guys? This is Stan, and I'm back again to talk about some more Magic the Gathering. Now, this time, I'm going to be talking about my top five favorite cards from the Urza's Destiny expansion. All right, coming in at number five, we have Repercussion, which is a funny title for this card because percussion is something that you beat on. So if you add Re on there, that means that you beat on it several times over, which is the case with Repercussion. A red enchantment that only costs three, and whenever a creature is dealt damage, repercussion deals that much damage to that creature's controller. Yeah. Go ahead, pause the video, and just think about the possibilities that you could do with it. I don't mind, go ahead. Alright, coming in at number four. Attrition. Now, what I liked most about the uh, Attrition card was that with the classic edition rules, you can block and damage your opponent's attackers, then sacrifice those blockers to kill other creatures. The same thing works if he blocks your attackers, or if he, you know, decides to poke at one of your guys with direct damage. Coming in at number three, we have Eradicate. Eradicate is also a very appropriate title for this card and it's actually kind of vindictive if you think about it. Eradicate is a black sorcery. It basically removes a target non-black creature from the game. Then basically you gotta search the controller's graveyard and his hand and his library for all copies of that same card and you gotta remove them from the game as well. To say that that's insult to injury would be an understatement. I mean really, that would be like saying Hitler was an asshole. Coming in at number two, the False Prophet. This is what I like about the False Prophet. The False Prophet is basically a Wrath of God that can swing for two. When a False Prophet is put into the graveyard from play, remove all creatures from game. So if your opponent doesn't want to deal with the fact that his forces may get removed from the game, he's got to deal with this asshole swinging for two every time he gets an opening. All right, and coming in at number one, the Flicker. There are so many different reasons why I love the Flicker. The Flicker can be used to remove enchantments from a creature. It can be used to make your opponent pay for that annoying echo cost again. You can use the Flicker to re-trigger all of those comes into play abilities. You know, like the Bone Shredder. Flicker was fucking awesome. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the honorable mention. Okay, first honorable mention is the Treacher. It's a little bit expensive, you know, costing five mana total. But I get to untap up the five lands and I can take control of the enchanted creature. So, Yavi Mayan Elder. I like the Yavi Mayan Elder because he reminded me of the old school ancestral recall, but, you know, he can swing for two. This was another creature that worked pretty well with the classic edition rules, too. Alright, that's it. That's all I gotta speak about on these uh, particular cards. These are my favorites from the Urza's Destiny expansion. Now, keep in mind, these aren't all of my favorites, but if I had to pick just five out of the entire expansion, those would be my five. Anyway, go ahead and uh, feel free to comment, feel free to subscribe, and don't forget to vote. Now, if you remember the Urza's Destiny expansion, and you got a couple of cards in that expansion that you liked as well, don't be afraid to tell me how you feel. Perhaps maybe we also share the same love of certain cards. You know, it's like we're networking, you know, talking to each other, communicating. That's a good thing. That's what humans do. Anyway, I'm Stan, and that's all for now.